Hello everyone. Just wanted to show you what uh, this bur oak blight's doing to some of our beautiful old trees. And uh, this one, it's been dead. They went through one season, this guy. Say hi, Evan. Hi. What are we gonna do today? I have to cut down a tree. I've actually done trees before. Because so this is not my first time I've got to get it. Yeah. Today, okay. So what are we gonna do? Cut down trees. We're gonna cut down which tree? We're gonna cut down a dead tree, aren't we? Yeah. That dead one? Yeah, cover that. These yeah. are probably perfect colors. It's fine. It's safe back here. Okay. These poor old bur oaks, they don't, they can't survive this little fungus that grows on the leaves. And wet times, it grows. The fungus stays on it longer in the wet seasons. Um, it's affecting a lot of them around here, but anyway, it, it is what it is. And there's not a whole lot right now that they know what to do with to treat the blight. So, right hand man and I, we're gonna, we're gonna knock this tree down today. So I thought I'd uh, share a little bit of it. Let's see what happens here. Evan, what do you gotta do? You gotta stay back, right? Yeah. I'm okay. Go back. All right. You go back. I'm gonna go. Go.
lenses, make sure you have safety gear on this, and be careful. Because if the tree falls on you, it can really hurt. It really hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, let's go check it out here. Okay. So. That's what it used to be at the tree. It's That's all. What it used to be. All spongy. What's this? Why is this my home. Yeah. I back him to it. Anyway. Well, it's time to start uh, time to start bucking this up so we can clean up the mess. So we'll let this roll and it basically like blew up. Yeah, we'll we'll do some more here in a little bit. Get loader out. Grapple okay. this mess up. Knocked off these two trees. Oop. Sorry about that. You're gonna be dizzy. So we knocked that down, and then I had one more over here that ground the stumps off. I don't know. This is how I do them. Um, yeah, it's for a dead tree, and you don't want to dig out all that. Uh, and you want to don't want to dig out all that stump 
and have all that mess there, this is what I do with it. It just grinds them off flush. Uh, and it works pretty good. I mean, it'll eventually make a hole. Um, it'll rot out and you can put a little dirt over top and more grassy. And you don't have this giant six foot hole that you gotta try to fill and uh, deal with all that, all the mulch that comes out of it, you know, for a, uh, now look at this little guy. Did you make a little guy? Yeah, little gene bug was hiding in there, but anyway, that's kind of the rough and dirty version of it. Um, on cleaning up afterwards. This whole little setup works pretty good. But uh, do a little dressing on the driveway. And uh, anyway, got these two down, so hopefully they can. We're gonna plant something else in there, maybe like a, you know, like a red leaf maple or something. I'm a little quicker growing. That's, uh, them oaks, I counted them, they were 100 years old uh, minimum. Maybe 110 on that one and maybe 100 on the other. But, um, that oak blight is getting a lot of them around here. Um, and there's a lot of bur oaks around here that just can't take it anymore. So anyway, there's a couple more on this property that need dropped um, that are dead ones. But uh, I just kind of wanted to show this one. So anyway, we'll talk to y'all later. See ya.